Hi, I'm Michael Gleischer, and this video will present our work on Boxer, a system for comparing the results of machine learning classifiers. This work was done with Aditya Barve, Shinyi Yu, and Florian Heimerl, who all work with me at the University of Wisconsin, Madison. Boxer is a system for examining and comparing the results of machine learning classifiers. It allows for flexible, detailed comparisons of classifier results by enabling users to identify subsets of instances and compare the performance on them. Boxer allows a user to combine multiple views and connect them with flexible selection mechanisms. Let me explain what I mean by classifier result comparison. A classifier takes a data instance and predicts a label for it. For now, we assume the labels are a discrete choice. Classifiers are built by training using a set of training data with associated labels. Classifiers are tested by taking a test set with known labels and comparing these ground truth labels with the predictions made by the classifier. The outputs of the classifier are the results. Sometimes it is useful to examine the predictions on the training set. This is known as resubstitution. But usually, classifiers are tested on a separate testing set. The predictions made on the testing set are the results of the classifier. We use them with the corresponding test data and ground truth answers to assess classifiers. To compare multiple classifiers, we examine their results on the same testing set. This is the problem that our system Boxer considers, comparing the results of multiple classifiers. The input data to Boxer are the results from each classifier, as well as the test set data including the ground truth answers. Note that Boxer does not consider the internals of the classifiers. It treats the classifiers as black boxes. Boxer focuses on the results of the classifiers, complementing approaches that consider how those results are computed. There are many reasons why comparing classifier results may be useful. The most common is model selection, where we try to pick the best one. But comparing classifiers is also useful in places where contrasting models can help provide better understanding of the classifiers and data. Related work on model comparison falls into three categories. One body of work considers comparing the internals of classifiers. This work is specific to particular classifier types. Boxer complements this work. A second body of work provides detailed tools for examining a single classifier's results. We extend these ideas from this work to problems of comparison. A third body of work provides metrics for comparing models. We build upon this work to allow for more detailed inspection. Metrics provide concise summaries of classifier performance. A simple metric for classifier performance is accuracy, the percentage of items the classifier gives the correct answer on. We can choose different metrics that summarize the performance in different ways. This raises the challenge of metric selection. And, even with a well-chosen metric, it tells us little about which items the classifier is getting right or wrong. Metrics are usually computed over the entire testing set. Metrics give a concise summary of performance, which allows for easy comparison between classifiers. However, for richer comparisons, metrics do not provide enough detail. For example, we might want to know if different classifiers get the same items wrong. We might want to know if there are any items that many classifiers get wrong. We might want to assess the performance on a key subset of the data. Or we might want to connect errors to the underlying data. There are many possible comparisons we might want to make. Our goal in Boxer is to support detailed comparisons in a flexible way in order to consider a variety of questions. The main idea behind Boxer is to consider subsets of the data as a way to make comparison across a set of classification results. A metric, such as accuracy, divides the data into subsets that are counted. For example, accuracy divides the data into correct and incorrect sets. 
By selecting subsets of data, we can see where else these instances occur in other subsets. For example, by selecting the incorrect instances in one classifier, we can see if other classifiers get the same instances incorrect, or if those instances have any particular properties in a data view. Conversely, we can select items in a data view and see how they connect to performance. Boxer is based around two key concepts that allow the user to flexibly perform classifier result comparisons based on sets of the data. The first is the concept of a box. A box couples a data abstraction, it contains a set of items, with a visual abstraction that displays information about those items. The second key concept is the concept of a selection. A selection is a set of the data instances that the user has focused on. Boxer supports two active selections. Boxes show three quantities. First, the size of their set, or how many items they represent, as well as the intersection of their set with each of the selections. For example, each bar of a histogram bar chart is a box. Its height shows the size of the set. The height of the subbars show the amount of overlap with the selections. Note that Boxer uses the colors cyan and pink to represent the two selections. Many part-whole visualizations, where each glyph represents a subset of the data, can serve as a collection of boxes. In Boxer, we have bar charts, stacked bar charts, and matrix views but we could also have used pie charts or tree maps. Boxer supports two active selections. We create the first cyan selection by left-clicking. We create a second pink selection by right-clicking. Here, we've selected the items correctly classified by a second classifier. This allows us to compare between the selections. The Selection Controls panel allows a his, us a history of our selections. It shows how much the two selections cover the range of instances, and it shows how much the selections overlap. The Selection Controls allow us to perform set arithmetic on the selections. Here, we intersect the two selections, creating a new selection that is the set of instances that both classifiers got right. Boxer provides a number of views that can be used together to perform comparisons. We describe a few key ones. The overall performance view shows a stacked bar chart of a selected metric. We can choose accuracy, precision, recall, or a few others. The histogram view shows bar charts of feature distributions. A confusion matrix view gives classifier performance details. The list view shows specific data items in ways that emphasize their set relationships. The parallel metrics view helps with metric selection by showing the differences in how metrics rank classifiers. To help bar charts show and select small values, Boxer uses a circle to represent when a bar chart has a small bar that might be too difficult to see, but not quite zero. Boxer lets users place views and link them using selections. We demonstrate this power and flexibility in a simple use case. We have trained a classifier that determines whether a document was written before or after the start of the English Civil War. We are interested in whether short documents are easier to classify than longer ones. We select the short documents by unioning together their histogram buckets, and then select the longer documents by unioning those histogram buckets. In the, perform in the selection performance view, we see that there is some difference in the performance between these two categories. We can perform a similar experiment to see if documents written close to the cutoff date are harder or easier than the rest of the documents. Here, we see a larger difference between the documents written closer to the, the, the cutoff date and further from the cutoff date. 
Boxer is open source software. On our webpage, you can try the system online and read user documentation. Scalability is a key challenge. In terms of performance, Boxer is implemented completely in browser. This created limits on memory and speed. However, we have used Boxers with data sets of 100,000 instances. It does become a little sluggish. Boxer's design scales well. The aggregate views are the same if the bars represent hundreds or millions of items. The dots help with dynamic range issues, but there can be issues with too many bars. Conceptually, our approach can handle much larger data. We can work with many instances through filtering and search. We are incorporating feature selection to handle larger numbers of variables. It is less clear how to scale to many different classifiers. Our work has a number of limitations. One is that we only have an in-browser prototype. Second, our system focuses on discrete choice classifiers. In the future, we intend to consider other types of problems such as regression or probabilistic classification. Third, our system is complex to use. While the views are simple, the user must figure out which ones to compose to achieve their task. We are working on addressing this with a guidance system. Fourth, we have not integrated Boxer into the development loop. In the future, we will explore feedback to the classifier construction process. To conclude, Boxer is a system for comparing the results of machine learning classifiers. Its key idea is to use set selection and display to allow for flexible comparisons. I invite you to try out the online demo. Thank you for listening.